Hey guys and gals, what's going on? So, today I'm going to be going over another troubleshooting guide and the error lights and some of the issues that could be associated with those error lights. Now here I have an 850. Um, this is a Shark Iron 850. This is the one that I'm going to use for all the demos just because it's the same layout as all the other robots. So, as long as it's not a 700 series or an older, um, non-removable wheel robot, this will be the same. Uh, all the way from the 700s all the way up to the 1000s, which are the IQ series. And sorry I'm using a trash can lid. It's the perfect height um, because my table is dirty from working on the trucks. All right. So today, in this video, we're going to talk about the Shark Iron 750 and the errors that can occur. <clears throat> so, starting off, and I have a little cheat sheet here just to help me keep track of all the different ones. So, all LED lights are off. So, this means that the unit is either dead or off. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is check and see if the robot is even on. And that's pretty simple to do. You just come over here, off, on. Is it off or on? So if it's down, it's off. If it's up, it's on. Next, if the lights are still not coming on, you'll flip it over, remove the two or one Phillips head screw, pop your battery cover, make sure the battery's in it. Say you just bought this. Okay, it's in there. Clean your contacts for your battery, I mean for your charging pad, and work it up to the dock nice and slow. See if it's just not charged. It could be dead. The battery could be bad though, so just be aware. I do sell replacement batteries when I get them in, so you can go on my eBay store. I'll have a link in the description below, and you can order a new battery. Well, it'll be a used one, but they are all tested to 80 plus percent, so that means that Battery holds 80% charge minimum all the way up to 100. So, so you check the battery, you check the switch, you check the charger, made sure the charger is working. There's a little green light on the charger, and you pushed it up. Give it a few minutes. It does take time. Just make sure you leave a little gap in between, probably about a quarter of an inch. So you push it up about a quarter inch from the front, leave it there. If it doesn't start charging with blue lines in a couple minutes, more than likely it's a motherboard issue or a charging pad's disconnected or the switch is going bad. So those are some things to look at. And if you have a voltmeter, you can test all these things and find out what the true issue is. <clears throat> the next one is going to be the red replaced LED light is on. Now, I personally have never seen this and I've worked on a bunch of these. So your battery is ready to be replaced, um, so you need to order a replacement, either a brand new one or a used one. And I've never seen it, so I wouldn't trust it, honestly. Um, but if it does pop up, there you go, replace the battery. Uh, next, dock and spot are alternating flashing. That means the dock and the spot, which would be, this is weird, this is a 750. Um, they're, They'll be flashing. There'll be a little spot clean. I can't remember where it is, but there'll be a little spot clean that's flashing. Um, they'll be alternating. That means your side brush is stuck. So one of these will be stuck. Spin them. See if the motor is bound up. You might be able to unfreeze it by going back and forth a couple times, or there might be some hair stuck in it. Just pop them off and check. Next, we have dock and spot flashing together. Same deal. It's gonna be something stuck in the main brush. This is your main brush. So you open it up, take it out, clean the bearing on the right side, check, make sure there's no hair here, and make sure your motor is spinning freely. Now, I, I don't, this is another one I do not trust because these motors burn up, go bad, belts fry, all kinds of things happen to these motors. And it could be the motor's bad, could be the belt, could be the housing's melted, could be a bunch of different things. So best thing to do is to put it in there, twist it a little bit, see if you can feel the teeth moving and the motor moving. If it's really hard to turn, motor's bound up. If it's super easy, like you can just 
spin it around on your finger. Like you get to put it in here and this, it won't stop. It just keeps spinning. Um, either the belt's broken, the housing's melted, or the motor's completely gone. Uh, next, clean is flashing blue. Front wheel sensor, drop sensor, or bumper is reporting an error. Make sure your robot is able to move freely by moving it to a new location on level surface. Make sure the front bumper is not stuck. If clean light continues to flash blue, remove the front wheel and clean the wheel. So this is pretty much saying clean all your sensors. So sensor, 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 remove the wheel, spin it, make sure it moves. I, I personally have never seen one clogged up and I've, I've pulled all kinds of stuff out of these. Um, you got side sensors, you got front sensors, remove the little plastic piece and you'll find the front sensors. Uh, spot flashing blue, the unit cannot move due to surface obstruction. Um, I have seen this quite a lot. These things will get stuck in a corner or something. Pull it out, make sure your bumper's moving, make sure your wheels are moving. Put it in a clean area, turn it on, see if it moves. If not, you got a wheel issue, uh, something's stuck in it. These wheels, they get clogged up. I've seen paper towels in them, all kinds of stuff. Now, if you want more in-depth information, guys, Feel free to comment below. I have to rush through these videos because there are so many errors. These could be in so many different things that I really can't touch on every single thing without making this video 35 minutes long. So another thing you can do is go on my channel and check out um, like the grinding noise videos and how to replace. And those will go over the errors and some things like that as well. Next, we have clean flat uh, classing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Clean is flashing red. Cliff sensors are reporting an error. Wipe your cliff sensors off. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. So these four are going to be your main cliff sensors. Also, it can be robot cannot start due to an error. Ensure your robot is on a level surface. So your wheels do have to be down. I do see the springs in the wheels come undone once in a while. So make sure your wheels are popping up and down. Uh, when you push it down, it should come right up. If not, there could be something in there or the spring could be going bad. Next, exclamation point symbol is flashing. Suction motor failure, remove blockage, clean filter, remove dustbin, make sure nothing is blocking suction. So your suction motor is down in here. You can sometimes rattle it and hear stuff in it if it gets stuff in there. But unless you've ran this without a filter or you have kids that have put stuff in it on purpose, usually won't have this issue. So go ahead and remove your dustbin. I have one somewhere over here. Hold on. Yes, I have this one. So go ahead, remove your filter, clean it. Make sure there's nothing obstructing this and make sure there's nothing obstructing in here that's causing the, um, like a blockage of suction. Also you have a vent here and yeah, just on this side on this one. So you'll uh, make sure it's exhausting the vacuum. Next, clean, clean flashing red and exclamation point stay solid red. Chargers experiencing issues, contact customer service at 1-800-798-7398 or you can order a charger from me. I do keep these chargers in stock for the most part. They are a little expensive to order, but it still beats the price of a brand new one. Now, if you have a robot, remember, I tell everybody, if your robot is under a year old, call Shark. They will replace it or the parts for free. Uh, exclamation point and clean symbols flashing. Your robot boundary sensors are reporting an error. Contact customer service. Again, boundary sensors. Um, we don't have the bot boundary sensors. Um, those are little modules for the older robots that would set up and they would stop. But these sensors can go bad and cause that error along with the front sensors. So make sure to just clean all your sensors. But those are generally the laser guided sensors that you'd set up, kind of like the old um, Roombas. Next, clean and solid red. Dustbin has been removed and needs to be reinserted. That can be one of two things. Your dustbin isn't inserted and not clicking, or it could be this little switch right here, not being fully depressed. Uh, if you think that the, say you got a broken bin or something that doesn't stick in there really well, you can put a piece of tape right here over this button and it will fix that issue. Clean is solid red. Your robot is sleep mode. Press any button to 
Uh, press any button on robot or remote to start again. As simple as it says. Now if it won't, power cycle it off and on and it should um, start working. So, thanks for watching this video guys. If you have any questions or you need more in-depth information, go ahead and leave a comment below. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button. I know this was a fast, not super in-depth video like some of my other videos on the Shark, but like I said, there is a lot of content um, that I could go over, but it would take 30 to an 30 minutes to an hour to go over everything that could be wrong with these. So it, just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. Uh, I'm generally pretty good at answering questions, but I am getting kind of flooded with questions uh, from time to time. And if I'm at work, I don't have a chance to answer. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one.